Okay, welcome back guys. If you haven't subscribed, please do subscribe so you can keep getting cool content like this in the future. And also hit the notification button. And even if you don't want to subscribe, you can just hit the like button just to get this just to get the algorithms kind of push this content to those who actually need it. Okay, so uh so this is like a test render I've done also now with with the new light setup and also new transformation kind of changes so we are usually at srgb so if i change this to ac you can see how this changes the look dramatically okay kind of liked what 1.8 gamma is kind of giving me instead so i'll stop the render just trigger the test with the new light setup and the eye also with it with it okay so i'm going to take a snapshot of this so i uh i kind of how would i put this kind of light how kind of likes our um how is face painting kind of looks so i want to incorporate one of these face painting into let's incorporate one of the face painting into my sculpt so i'm going to put the texture units inside of substance painter so i have a few ideas in here but first i'll start by adding some start by adding some smudge looking dirt on his face it's more looking the more like charcoal charcoal kind of dirt on his face so ashes kind of dirt on his face then i would proceed to I uh, will now proceed to add in. Now proceed to add in um, or other painting some of these textures on his face, some paint textures on his face. I kind of like how this texture look like. It's more like dried, chalky paint on on her face. So this is for more reason done. So this is going to be like an example I'm going to be using to kind of get something close to the something close to the texture of it. Okay. Um, because this part of it looks like something done with its hand with the fingers. So you can see how this part kind of fading out, more or less like a fingerprint in there. So I'm going to be using that effect, but this is going to be like my main reference for painting the painting the face. So let's get to it. So I'm going to go back to I open up the head and substance painter. So let's just do create a new texture map for it. Okay. Continue anyway. All right, so close this. Okay. interesting lighting in here though okay so let's turn off the shadowing in here okay then i would make sure i'm on the head close this close this We have quite a lot going on here. Okay, so let me create 
Stain. This is another stain. Okay. Probably duplicate this. Drag this all the way up. Okay, this adding a very interesting stain to it. I think we might not even need to even do much again. This is already adding an interesting stain texture to it. Except I will need to I would like to build this up some more. Let me turn up symmetry. Okay. I'll add a few layer in here. And for that few layer, let's use Let's see if we can use a texture in no, not, not here. Let's go to grunge. Grunge stain. Okay, what happened does? Okay, this one looks interesting. It's grunge wide directional. Smudge wipe soft, so it looks interesting. Also, let's drag and drop this in here. Set it to linear dodge. Or let's set this to multiply. Let's see. Let's get this separated out from the other part. No. Let's see our maxing for it. I think I moved too much. Okay. Let's go into the max and then let's adjust this try increasing the contrast put this on try planar mapping let's see what we have okay but we need some we need a bit more that is a bit we need some more that is a bit blurry. We need one that is a bit blurry. So I would duplicate this. Add the black marks. Add the black marks to this. Let me add the levels adjustment to this. See if we can get this to get this a bit more aggressive. Yeah, something like this. So that would generally affect everything underneath it. So okay. I'd like to do one more thing. I'm going to do one more thing in here. Um, let me add another new few layer in here. Let's look for something that has look for something that has more or less like a fingerprint sweet. Fingerprint stain on it. We type in prints in here. Yeah, it's a good one. Grudge finger. Okay, finger. Okay, this is a good one also. Fingerprints. Okay. Let's try this on here.
use multiply adjust the balance for it let's see the max changes to try planar mapping Uh, I think I should put that in a separate layer, <coughs> separate layer instead. So let me delete this. I'll put this on here instead. So fill. I'll just drag and drop this in there. Let me turn this off for now. Set this to try plain now mapping. That's what happens when you adjust the scale. Okay. So I just the balance some more. Reduce the scale to push out. Let's try to instead. Okay. Turn this off. I don't want it to be all over the place, so I'm going to let's see if we can change the let's change the color a bit more. Something towards the black with a bit more reflectivity to it. Okay. So it's even more or less like black oil stain on him. But this is all over the place, so let's create a new fill layer. Let's try the cloud. So multiply. I'm gonna use it to erase some of this out. Try putting that mapping. Okay, I also need to paint off most of this, but let's add a blow filter to it. Let's add a blow filter. I think blow filter is too intense. Something like this should be fine. And I'll add the paint layer to this. It's my brush. Or rather, this is dead brush. This is dead brush in here. Save this file first. It takes on the keyboard. So I want to use some of this. I like how we have some of this on the lips, which is cool. Let me use this instead so I can get a better view on it. So, I'm going to erase these parts. So I don't want it all over the place. Maybe I'm moving using the wrong texture map. I'm using the wrong texture map, but I see. Remove this for the eye. Are you symmetry in here? Get better clean up.
you know this don't need these parts for the year okay okay so let's bring this other one back maybe this one looks a bit much Start a paint layer. Maybe just reduce the overall intensity for it. Turn off the symmetry. Increase my brush size. Raise some of this. Okay, bring this up. Okay. Very quick save. So now let's let's paint something in here. Let's paint something in here. I like this red and black and white tone to it. So let me duplicate this. Add the black marks over it. I think I need to erase this for some part of the leaves. Let me erase this for part of the leaves. Okay. That should be fine. You know, this I'll just name this to face paints. Okay, um, let's pick. Let's start with this instead. Let me get a closer view on this. The resolution is quite poor, so just eyeballing this should be quite rough. I need to add height map also in there. It's a height map in there. Okay. All right, so yes, yeah, so where were we? So let's yes, I'm going to be using uh, this ink that I saw. This one was very I tried this before, it was actually quite good. Actually quite good. So let's go in here, double click on it, increase the brush size some more. Oh, it's X on the keyboard. Let me just see, make it on. On. I think I have too much height on it, so let's take this down. This is a much bigger brush size. Can we get the size bigger than this? Let's try 200. Uh, maybe turn of the symmetry. Uh, okay. 
ओके might not be doing this accurately enough though this might not be as accurately as it should be but we'll find a way to, we'll find a way to make it work Uh, maybe this will work as break up instead of using it. As, using it to, let me just use. Let me stick with. Let's try this. Dex. Let's see. Okay. This is nice. I'm going to just to break this up. I use this to break this up. I think for now, let me completely take off the eyes. I'll get this flap in the surface for now. I'm still going to break this up even more. Okay. Uh I think this needs a bit more carefulness to raise some of this part out. Okay. Okay. So now that we have this. I'm going to do a lot of breaking up later on, but let's just start with this. I will duplicate this, add the black mark to it. Now use a more darker tone in here. More darker tone. Push this towards the black even more. Uh, then I would like to. Let me see if I try these dots in there. Okay, yeah, this will work. So I have greater, greater control over this. It's just to break this up even more. But in, Interesting pattern to it. I feel like I should make this slightly a bit more reflective than it is right now. Okay. A bit more. I 
now we add slightly bit of height to this I think our face paint needs some reflectivity so let's add some reflectivity to it I think that we will add in a max in here. Uh, let's try this cloud in here. Let's see. So we can vary the reflection in there. So some of it will be dried up, but some of it will still feel a bit wet. Just want me to break this up some more. Okay, so I'm going to add a filter to the thumbnail. So I want this to, I want this, I want this to affect only the roughness. So I'll blow this a bit more. Just to get something that is evenly spread out. To get something evenly spread out like so. Some of this we need to, we need to clean up. So it's excess clean this part or out. It's inside the eye, we don't need to be affecting inside the eye. Okay. I think something like this should be fine. Right, so. Let's carry on with this. I would. Okay. Let me do a quick save. I would like to break this up some more. Uh, let's type in prints in here. Here. We actually have fingerprints, that's actually cool. We actually have a fingerprint brush in here. So let's use this to paint. Kind of get maybe something smaller. Take down the spacing. I don't still over the place though, so I'm just going to be a bit light handed. So just help add, add a texture to it. It's a measure break. Let's see the marks. Yeah, something like this. And I can see some variation of texture in there. With a pattern to it, more of a fingerprint pattern to it. It's not going to be too obvious, but at least it helps to just break up the surface a bit more. I think this spot we added in here, I would like to make that even darker probably take out the reduce the height a bit more dots go back in there and then add some more
make them a bit smaller make them a bit smaller okay what I'd like to try also would be to add let me increase let me go in here increase the height or maybe we'll add let me this down take this down add something in here as ground a grunge texture let's try this one Ish. that's a bit weird invert that uh, I'm not entirely sure if I'm liking this door. Go into the channels and reduce the heights. To use this a bit more okay so I'll just duplicate this name this to red face paints uh, let me hide this for now thinking I should for the roughness I don't want to look look like blood stain. You feel a bit more like paint. If I drag this all the way up, loose should be quite dry. But I think I don't want it to be too dry. Okay, something like this should be fine. Now delete this. Go back to base color. Let me stop the tutorial here. We'll continue and then we'll continue painting this in the next lesson. So, thank you guys for watching. Bye for now.